is uh, Scott Burton Cotter. I am the game programming lead faculty at the Academy of Art University. My name is Norbert. I'm a producer at Offroad Industries. My name is Brian Loda. Uh, I work at Amanji Studios where I'm technical lead. Stephen Donner, gameplay engineer and designer for a small independent company in Salt Lake City called Couch Cosmonauts. We teach kids how to make games uh, in all various aspects, so we teach them design, art, programming. Um, we use Perforce to turn in homework and uh, we also have some live projects that run in Perforce and we've been using Perforce for about six years. We started using Perforce in 2014 and then later on we transitioned to a different source control system and we recently switched back to Perforce um, because the experience we had with Perforce originally was better than what we had with the other source control system we use. What I like most about Perforce is it's uh, pretty easy to use and our content creators love it because it's very explicit in the checkout process so that they know what files they have out versus what's uh, you know, not checked out. I think the best thing about uh, Perforce is that you don't see a lot of it. Is that, it, is that we work, we, we have a really good setup with designers and, and artists and we work hybrid with um, sort of uh, front end tools and back end tools and all of us seem to be working all the time together and there's very rarely a problem with sort of checking in files and making sure that, uh, that, that one edit doesn't override another edit or something like that. And I think that's brilliant. I think that's the goal, right? We use Perforce a lot because it's a big uh, tool in the industry. So we want to teach the students what they're most likely going to be using when they work in the industry. Uh, we have dabbled in a few other things like Git and they just didn't work out as well for us. Um, we've also just got a lot of experience with Perforce, so that helps. And Perforce helps our team uh, collaborating on files by uh, allowing us to work truly um, in parallel on uh, things because we have a lot of binary files and you can uh, edit files, checking them out and all works reliably and we don't run into conflicts and we have experience with a different source control system where we constantly would run into conflicts and we have to do complex merges and we solve those conflicts and uh, the resolving of uh, lots of people editing at the same time is really the thing that works great in Perforce, the most important part for us. I think my favorite thing about Perverse is how much it uh, um, makes it easy for everyone and it's very much in the background like when I've worked in other teams every engineer needs to know everything about source control uh, whereas right now I'm actually quite privileged to be a gameplay engineer and I'm one step removed and I, I, my build engineer sort of takes care of all the difficult stuff and I just click three buttons at the end of every day and that's it. That's my, that's my, <laughs> that's my interaction with it. It's great. My name is uh, Scott Burton Cotter. I am the game programming lead faculty at the Academy of Art University. We teach kids how to make games uh, in all various aspects. So we teach them design, art, programming. We use Perforce to turn in homework and uh, we also have some live projects that run in Perforce. And we've been using Perforce for about six years. I think the best thing about uh, Perforce is that you don't see a lot of it. Is that it, is that we we have a really good setup with designers and, and artists, and we work hybrid with um, sort of uh, front end tools and back end tools. And all of us seem to be working all the time together. And there's very rarely a problem with sort of checking in files and making sure that uh, that that one edit doesn't override another edit or something like that. And I think that's brilliant. I think that's the goal, right? 